Welcome back to Snurub. Hey. Steppy Snurub. Alright, so, fucking, uh, last time we played this stupid game, we almost <laughs> got all the stray fairies in Stone Tower, uh, but we failed. I mean, it's funny actually, I was watching back at the footage, and I actually went the wrong way at the last minute. And uh, I could have made it if I was less panicky, but you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm an idiot. But what happened was off camera, like I said, I went back and I went through all the stone tower again, got all the stray fairies, and now we're gonna go turn it in. Mm -hmm. In this building. I can't actually see the light from the window, it's too bright on the screen. So now we can. This is not the one. <laughs> I keep walking into this guy's house by accident. Yeah. Oh. He thinks you're weird. He, he does. This guy keeps coming into his house. And... Weird ass, like, hermit man thinks that I'm weird. Yeah. And I am wearing a fucking bunny hat, so. You are pretty weird. Uh, which house? Your mystical Is that one of the ones up here? It might not be, actually. I think I might be dumb. Yeah, I am dumb. I can't see anything, dude. I need, like. We might have to close those blinds. Yeah. <coughs> Change the mood lighting. Real world right? information. The mood, the mood lighting. Yeah, it's uh, what is it, 11 in the morning? Yes. Quarter past 11? Oh, that's way better. Oh, I'm more from Stone Tower. We don't want to do that. We want to go down here. Did, uh, yes, this one. I did a, a GM. No, was it a GM in this one? A GM guest, maybe? Yeah. With, uh, with Ben and also with, um, with Reflex. Uh -huh. And my complaint was that it was too bright in the room, I couldn't see what gear I was in. Right. So I would, I would go in too hard into a corner and over and just. What, lose what time game were you playing? The Etsy because. Oh, of course. <laughs> but it didn't matter because I was winning, so. <laughs> you just well, beat you're me always off. winning at the Etsy because. Anyway, we get this one of the most whatever items. Great yeah. fairy sword. So this is the technically second best sword in the game. <laughs> it's better than the Gilded Sword. There's technically another sword that's better than this, but like. <sighs> It's a temporary sword, you can't have it with that mask. Yeah. How did you know? Is Fuck it the you. fierce deity? I don't know. <laughs> we don't know anything, maybe. Uh if I could like show you this, I don't like it's it's, it's whatever. Like. <laughs> it's like I don't use it very much. Oh my god, that reminds me of the sword that I made sword. up. Where you have to stick all sorts of gems into the sword to make it powerful. Uh, uh Del Toro Quest? No, no, it's something <laughs> I made up. Well, I probably a little bit inspired by Del Toro Quest. Not the books, the cartoon. I never <laughs> oh, I did watch the cartoon when it came out, and I was like, this isn't very good. Yeah. Uh, so this sword is like pretty powerful. It's really frustrating because I've got to press the C button to swing it, and uh, by by instinct I press the B button, which makes me take out my Gilded Sword, but mm -hmm. uh, I still prefer the Gilded Sword. So I'm never going to use this sword, but you know, there we go, we've done all the stray fairies in the game. You never have to remember, even though you never did any time that I asked you to. You happy? No, I never ever remembered. Let's reset time. Okay. Let's start again. There we go. <laughs> just keep you going. Just do a little on. solo in the middle. Yeah. 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 Just like Show it off. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and collect all the masks in this recording session and maybe finish the game, but I don't know, the last area is kinda of difficult. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's kinda of hard. Particularly on the N64. I have found when I'm playing in my own time easier for me to control and I wonder if it's because there is no delay from the N64 to my actual TV. Yeah. I don't think there's like much delay, not very notable, but like, I don't know. I was able to do that Azora thing. We don't have the same setup that we had when we had Frank in Australia mm. and we were recording at his house Frank Street. because he had it on the TV and then it would be <laughs> previewed on the computer. Yeah, yeah, it was, we had a TV and a computer. This is just straight on the computer, so like, how many times do we explain our fucking setup? That's what we got. It's very impressive. <laughs> We're just, it's just, it's just the N64 is going through directly into the recording program and we're playing the game on the recording program's preview. Is <laughs> <laughs> that good enough? Here's the thing actually, with the quality of the, the, the screen, you can actually tell that we're playing on the N64. It's not like, when you're playing on an emulator, it's much more sharp, I've noticed. Yeah. Okay, so, here's the thing with the masks that we gotta do. We gotta get five masks. And um, two of which require us to do what is called the spider what about house. The one down the bottom right. I don't know what that mask could be. Ah. Could be anything. Fuck you. Anyway, right. um, two of them require us to do spider houses, and that's kind of boring. And mm -hmm. the other three—is it three masks that you get in that side quest? 
Yeah. But, and the other three masks essentially require you to um, do the big, the best side quest in the game. Mm. So would you rather do the most boring thing first or the most exciting thing first? Or what we could do, we could do one of the spider houses, then the side quest, the big side quest, and then the other spider house. Or do you want to do both spider houses, then the side quest, or the side quest, and then both spider houses? Uh, better to sell people your recordings if, uh, if if you promise something exciting later on. Yeah, so much. <laughs> I didn't mind the spider houses in Ocarina of Time. Alright, let's do one of the spider houses first. Yeah. La, 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 la. Uh, yeah, there's two in this game. Uh, we want to go to. I see it's right outside Woodfall. I'm actually kind of concerned because I keep forgetting that whenever you go back in time, you lose all your consumables, and I think you might need a single arrow to get in there. The or maybe a, a stick. Yeah, so I turned it up ever so slightly earlier, and it was like, I don't know all about that gravy. You got giant thumbs. Remember this place when we were here? Yeah. 100 million years ago? Uh, yeah. Now to replace the Great Fairy Sword and never use it again. It's fucking wicked music. Dude. It's really good. It really suits the place. So. Yeah. I don't know where this way is. Is there like a quicker way? What's just the quicker way to get down here? It kind of reminds me of um, the Wizard of Oz. Now when they're in the forest, or in the they meet the lion. <coughs> I have not seen the Wizard of Oz in a very long time. At least not the original. It's probably the most um, timeless oh, movie. It was, um, it was made in nineteen forty nine, and they just can't, they just copy. They just uh, add color, and then boom, it's great. <laughs> they didn't just add color as part of the film; that it turned to color, which is really cool. That's that's a timeless scene. Uh, was it Technicolor? Probably because it was like one probably of a really expensive movie to see if it was in color. They probably had a well, but no. Oh no, this is not. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me just, uh, let me just, yeah, let's redirect this plane. Ah! Get back on! Woo! <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Looks like in the video. Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> well, I mean, we might as well talk about it now. So, in between the recording sessions, we watched this really cool video that I liked a lot. Where it's this guy essentially um, talked about the video. See, look, I'm doing exactly what he's talking about in the video. Um, he, comp he talked about the Majora's Mask 3D remake, and uh, Majora's Mask 3D is a remake of this game. And the thing is, like throughout this playthrough, I've kind of said like I think I prefer the 3D version because you know it's obviously superior, and I retract that statement now. <laughs> I prefer the N64 version because when I I play the the um, 3DS version twice and uh, fully. First time I 100% of it, the second time I did a three heart run, but I haven't played it since. Every time I want to play Majora's Mask, I've played it on the N64, and I don't know why. But, it's uh, on the big screen. Yeah, well, yeah. But, I, well, here's one of the big things for me personally. I really, really like the N64 aesthetic of the blockiness and the, uh, the pre rendered textures and stuff like that. Mm. That shit is my fucking aesthetic, dude. Love. Um, but yeah, it was just a video that like kind of goes over all of its like little bits and bobs. You know? mm. um, I, <coughs> I need a stick or something, dude. Can I get a stick. Go over there and get a stick. One of the things that they talk about in the video is that uh, they've uh, they've adjusted it for jumping. It has um, deck length. That some of the jumps are really fucking difficult to make. I don't have anything. <laughs> oh, this is all good. Well, actually, I probably should be Deku still, but I can do that. There's a pump down here. Whoops. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, Majora's Mask 3D is interesting because, like, I just, uh, like, I was just, I just kind of automatically assumed it was better than this it's because. Newer than this. It's not there. Yeah, but it's not. And it's interesting because the reason why it seems is because, um. Let's go get the sticky. Oh, and an arrow, perfect. Um, I don't even know what this is. Probably take a guess. Twenty rupees. Mm. Maybe you really got to start guessing these guys. I thought you lost my major. You just stop trying. Anymore. Oh, okay. Um, it got too uh, 
You got too intense, I kept getting it right. <laughs> it's like, I, I got to quit while I'm ahead. got too real. Yeah. Anyway, there are all these like little details that they change about Majora's Mask. I may realize the thing that made Majora's Mask so good is the fact that it um, was made in a uh, restricted time period, you know? Mm. Now they went back and fixed a lot of the things, it lost a lot of the charm. Oh, you just can't fuck right off. I think the N64 version probably just demonstrated how good the team is, and they didn't realize how good they were exactly. until well, they like, made it. They just they just weren't restricted to. Them. I mean, the only thing I restricted them was time. It's like make a fucking game in one year, and they're like okay, and they just went balls to the wall. All the ideas went in, and as a result, they made a really really unique game. That um, is my favorite. Zelda game now, and it's kind of interesting because unless they do it again, I don't know if they'll ever make a Zelda game that will compare to this one. For me personally, I'll elaborate that on that further because that was kind of a ludicrous thing to say. Next time on uh, what? Ludicrous. Ludicrous. Great.